Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your iPod Touch. Doesn't really matter which one you guys have. This is the seventh generation, but it could be any other one. The setup is pretty much the same. So on the top, you guys will see a power button. So right here, just power it up. If you keep holding that power button, we're gonna see this Apple logo. So hold that power button until you guys see that Apple logo. That means you guys turned it on. That's how you turn on an iPod Touch. To force shut it down, it's the same thing, but I'm gonna teach you that later on. So right here, you're gonna have these options. Just choose English for now. You guys can choose any other language, by the way. Same goes with countries. Choose any country you like. So I'm gonna choose US. Once again, you can choose any country you guys like. And from here, if you guys have another iDevice, such as an iPhone, iPad, it will make things faster to set up. So you're gonna see this, and yes, you just have to place it beside it. It's gonna do a quick setup, but it's not actually that much quicker than setting up manually. So we're just gonna set it up manually, just in case you guys don't have another iDevice. And right here, we're gonna pick our Wi-Fi network. In this case, it's tech and design. We're gonna put in our password. Once you put in your password, it's gonna just take a few minutes to activate. Then we're gonna see this, we're just gonna continue on. We can create a passcode, or you guys could skip that. Maybe you just want to access this without having to put a passcode every single time. And that's why you guys could actually go into this option down here. So I'm gonna erase that. And right down here, I can just choose not to use a passcode. So that's another option, or you guys can create one right now. So I'm just gonna use not use passcode. Just because it's faster, I don't like to have to type in a passcode every single time I want to use this. And this is basically the most important part about this. That's because right here, if you guys had an iPod Touch before, you guys could restore it from iCloud Backup. If you guys haven't, then just move all the way down into Don't Transfer Apps and Data if you're brand new into this. Now, moving data from your Android into this, it's not the greatest thing, but it does work. So it really depends what you guys have and where you're getting from. If this is your first iPod Touch, then go ahead and put in Don't Transfer. However, let me just go back. If you guys had one before and you have an iCloud backup, you guys can choose this and put in your iCloud ID and then everything will transfer on. That's how easy it is. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna put Don't Transfer apps, assuming you guys are new. So if you're brand new into Apple products, that means you don't have an Apple ID yet. So there's nothing you guys can put here, right? Don't worry about it. Just choose this option down here below and you guys can create an Apple ID just like this. So it's gonna take you through steps into creating your Apple ID. It's gonna ask you for birthday and just some information. We're just gonna go back on this for now. There is another option and yes, you guys can set up later in settings. So you don't have to set it up with your Apple ID at this point in time. However, I do suggest always, always setting up with your Apple ID so everything gets synced right away, including your contact information. So we're just gonna go back right here and we're gonna put in Apple ID. Once you put in your Apple ID, it's gonna take you here and we just have to put agree. It's gonna take a few minutes. So what I suggest doing at this point is just go on and press continue. It's just faster. And right now we can always keep up. Well, this part, I usually tell you guys don't have automatic updates turned on because you do want to install them yourself just because sometimes some updates for your Apple Touch, even iPhones, you do not want to install them right away. You want to wait because they do come with glitches and the glitches may be too big. So we're just going to install updates manually, which is our second option down here. Screen time. Screen time, if this is for you, I wouldn't put it on. Screen time has a lot of restrictions you guys can set up. So if this is for your kids, for sure, go ahead and set up screen time. You guys can set up parental controls right here and restrictions into how much time they can spend on apps, games, and just a bunch of restrictions. If this is for you, there's no need for that. So you guys can set that up later. This is up to you guys. No need to share. I always like to share with app developers. And finally, we can get started we are done setting up our iPod Touch. So yes, it's a very fast setup. Right now, I'm just gonna go through the basics. So if you guys scroll through to delete any apps that you don't need because maybe you don't have enough space on your iPod Touch, just go ahead 
hold your finger on top of an app. To delete any app from your iPod Touch, just hit that corner where the X is at. And from there, just delete it. Now let's say I want to move some apps around. So I'm just gonna hit this one. I'm gonna go onto this page. I'm gonna let it go right here. And that's how I moved it there. If I want to create folders on my iPod Touch, same deal, I can go ahead, hold on to this. I can go on top of an app. It's gonna create a folder. I'm gonna drop that right there and I'm gonna let go. So to exit this editing mode, just press your home button right here and that's it. So let's see you guys can create folders through that. Not to turn it off, obviously, just hit this. It's not really turning it off. We're putting on sleep mode. So to put an iPod Touch to sleep mode, you just hit this top part where it's your power button. And to wake it up, same deal. Do that, hit the home button to get back in. And there we go. So the reason why I can get back in really fast is because I didn't put a passcode. And that's why you don't like passcodes. But it really depends on your settings. To take a screenshot on your iPod Touch, easy. You just have to hold on to your power key here and your home button. So right now I can take a screenshot by doing that. I'm gonna take another one by doing that. And you guys can take a screenshot of anything right now. Like I mentioned, your volume's right here on the side, so we can put it up and down. And that's about it. I just wanted to show you the real basics into this. Now, you may see some social media that's not here. So the default apps that you guys would get here are just these. And the apps that you may be missing our Facebook, all social media. So just go right into your app store and download them for free. Yes, all social media is free. So just continue on and download any apps that you want from here. So just go into search and look up for those apps. Anyways, that would be it for this setup video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.